morning. In the kitchen now with Johnny Moe, the musical chef from Mallards. We're making sautéed salmon with orange walnut couscous and asparagus. Welcome back to the show. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Lots of folks are thinking, all right, the holidays are over, too much bad food in the house and hopefully out of it. And they're kind of looking at some new ways to make food that's uh, healthy and tastes good at the same time. That's very right. You know, I'm, I'm, this is kind of new to me, this whole healthy thing, because <laughs> usually being a chef, it's heavy cream, butter, right. all that good stuff. But uh, All of it in one dish. Yeah, a lot of exactly. Times. exactly. And I'm trying to take uh, into effect the portion size and everything and just kind of make it all around a little better for you. Less calories, less fat, all that stuff. So uh, I've kind of given myself a challenge. Yeah. And uh, I've brought with me today... Something that many people would not want to do on camera. But yeah, and notice I, we're, we're staying away from it. Yeah, You brought yeah. with you a scale. I brought a scale. <laughs> I'm, I'm here just about once a month, so I figure every time I come, I'll keep bringing the scale with me, and we'll step on and see. So the unveiling of the uh, the first way in here. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What is it? Ugh. Oh. 240 and a half. Okay. For a guy She's my stature pounds. and size, you know, that's not too bad, I mm -hmm. guess. Mm -hmm. Maybe not. But anyways... So uh, hopefully, every time I come here, that number will be shrinking because I'll be eating more healthy stuff like mm -hmm. this. So. And your dad, you bring your dad with you he every time here. you're here. He is here, too, and he's just issued another challenge. He has. He has. Um, he's going to jump in here real quick, I guess, too, if, and uh, step on the scale. Hi, Dad. Right. So we're going to challenge you. Daddy-o, yes. We're going to challenge <laughs> each other, and uh, the deal is, for every pound that we lose, we're going to give $5 to the food bank. Oh, I like that. Because that's our big sponsor, our big uh, charity that we do. 209 and a half. 209. 209 and a half. We've got to write so. these down. All right. Yeah, we'll right remember. I'm good. sure he remembers. Well, <laughs> so every, every pound, five dollars. Yeah, every pound. Food for both of us combined. Okay. Correct. Okay. Right. 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 Shake on there. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. And we won't let you forget it. Thank you. Excellent. It all starts so. with food. You have to eat. It does. It, correct. Correct. But so. I think some people kind of get into A, a rut, and B, think that in order to have a healthy meal, it won't taste good. Yeah. So yeah. how have you made this dish one that people will want to eat? Sure. I've got lots of ingredients here, and it kind of comes together real quick but uh i've got some orange juice we're going to put that in our boiling water because that's going to cook our couscous in the next segment oh but, that's uh, interesting and then we're also going to take these walnuts and have some pistachios in there as well that i added the last minute mm -hmm. so uh we're going to put them in the pan and we're going to toast them in the oven a little bit okay that so no oil in here no oil in there yeah we're just going to put it straight in the oven okay. and that's just going to kind of toast them up bring a little bit of the natural flavors out and give a little more pizzazz to the dish if oh, you will okay that's on 350 yep that's on 350 and then you know 10 15 minutes or something like that um now, we've got our couscous. Many people aren't familiar with couscous. It's just a small grain. It's basically a pasta. Mm -hmm. It cooks really fast. You just take boiling water, pour it on top of it, and it cooks in about two or three minutes. So, um, fast-moving dish as well. Fast-moving so. dish as well. Something in the restaurant, we need to keep things moving, you know, very quickly so customers are happy in and out and all that good stuff. But uh, some garlic, some saffron, which is uh, a very elegant spice, mm -hmm. some fresh spinach. We're going to use a little zest of the lemon and the uh, orange. Mm -hmm. Also some white wine. And some asparagus will go as our vegetable, along with the spinach. And we're going to mix it all together. And I think it's really interesting because you use the orange juice here for the flavoring. Normally, I know people would probably use chicken broth, beef mm -hmm. broth, something like this. Yeah. So this is a healthier alternative exactly. with the flavor punch exactly. still in it. Give you a little sugar in there. But, you know, as, once again, I'm not a dietitian, but on my standard, this is much healthier than what I would normally <laughs> have. <laughs> all right. So what are we going to do for the next segment when we come all right. back? Well, we'll just chop some of this garlic, mm -hmm. and then we're going to sear off that salmon. I had the salmon in the fridge stay nice and cold, but we'll have just a little bit of olive oil. Sear off the salmon, get that ready. We'll make our couscous and uh, put it all together by the end of the show. We will get cooking. All right, next time. Well, thanks chop, very chop much. Cooking Healthy with Johnny Moe, the musical chef from Mallard's, making sautéed salmon with orange walnut couscous and asparagus. Our walnuts are in the oven. Mm -hmm. How long do you toast it's them for? about 10 or 15 minutes. Well, I think we'll pull them out right now real quick. Yeah. Just grab a... See how they're looking. Down here, yeah. They smell really good. Yeah, it kind of brings out the flavors of them real nicely, so... Don't touch that because that's going to be real hot, <laughs> but we'll just set that aside for now. Note to self. Yeah. You've got the orange juice and the water boiling. It's come to a boil, yeah. And we're going to do... Do you wait for it to, like, boil for you a certain amount? want to be amount. boiling. Not, not for a certain amount of time. We don't want to reduce it or anything. We just want to get it all nice and hot so it'll cook the couscous. Um, we're going to do about one and a half parts couscous, water to couscous. So if we've got about two cups of uh, couscous here, we'll do about three cups of liquid. Uh. I'm just going to pour it over. Basically, if you get about a quarter inch of liquid on top of the couscous... That's a good judgment of how much you want. You don't want it to be too wet. Right. And you but don't need measuring cups for that, huh? No, nah, really. <laughs> <laughs> so if we grab some plastic wrap, then the best way to help this steam, I'm sorry. No. I'll let you. I'm not going to let the expert do it. I don't know. There we go. Now you just want to cover this real nice and tight, and that will help 
the uh, the couscous steam up, up mm -hmm. plastic on our saute pan, but we can fix that. It will cook off, right? right. Hopefully not in the salmon, but it will. I'll just get it. <laughs> and what is this doing over here? The plastic wrap uh, is that's letting it cook steam up. steam now. Yeah, it's going to steam up the couscous and help that mm -hmm. cook. Sorry, we're playing musical I shuffle know. here. I'm going to let you go this way. <laughs> All right, sorry. Um, so what we want to do is we've got about a six ounce slice of salmon. Um, that's about a good portion, mm -hmm. you know, if you're trying to cut back on portion size a little bit. Uh, we'll just season that real nicely with salt and pepper. That is such a good point, that portion control. I mean, you can have a great meal, but if you, you know, a great healthy meal, but if you eat like four portions, exactly. that's not really going to exactly. help with your weight loss. A little olive oil mm -hmm. in our newly cleaned uh, pan, right? <laughs> All is well. Now, the salmon is just salt and pepper, you said? It's just salt and pepper. That's because there's so much flavor going on with the citrus and the walnuts and the saffron and everything. Um, we're a real nice and hot pan. Ooh. We're just going to let that start to sizzle up and get happy. Yeah. Now, as that browns, I like to season both sides just because you can't have too much flavor, right? Right, right. And since there's no butter or cream, it's exactly, all right. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Um, now, we are going to use a little zest in this. Mm -hmm. We've got our saffron and I sliced up our garlic. Mm -hmm. um, so if you could hand me that zest oh, right away there. Thank you so much. You remember that from a couple shows ago. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I'll help you with that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. go ahead. I'm and just sorry. put it right down there? Yeah, just do it around the cutting board there. Okay. And we'll just do a little bit of that and a little bit of the uh, orange zest as well. And will that go on top of the salmon? We're going to put that in the couscous, actually. We're just kind of doing oh, two see. things at once while uh, while our salmon is browning up nicely. More? That's perfect. That's, That's perfect. So lemon and, we'll, and orange. Mm -hmm. And when we use the lemon zest, you can still use the juice out of lemon, which we're going to use uh, to deglaze the pan in a few moments with the wine. So. Oh, I like how you're using yeah. everything Exactly. For your meal. Now these days, you don't want to waste anything, right? Definitely. All That's right, we're going to wrap perfect. this up and come back in the next segment, finish this up with the zest Excellent. and the juice. And I'll finish up our salmon dish and talk about what's going on at Mallard's. Exactly. We'll do that coming up. Johnny Mo, thank you. Ta-da! Finishing up our salmon dish with Johnny Mo, the musical chef from Mallard's. And you've got the garlic in here got with the, garlic, the olive oil. Olive oil, white wine, and a little orange juice. Oh. We're okay. going to add some lemon juice. Just kind of putting the finishing touches on this. Now, you seared both sides of the salmon and then put the juices I in there? I basically just seared one side, flipped it over, and let it kind of slow cook in the water. You know, not so much poach a little bit in a sense. We just want to put a nice crisp on outside edge on there, you know? Gotcha. Uh, and you've got the lemon juice. And you did the cupping thing. Yeah, like catching the seeds, the seeds if you don't have one of those fancy lemon juicers that catches them for you. I've got <laughs> a little saffron. We'll put that into that. Add a nice little flavor and some color as well. Very nice. And I've blanched our asparagus off ahead of time, so they just take a few seconds to heat up. So we'll pop them in there. Throw the cover back on. Okay. I can and, do that. Yeah, and then we'll put our couscous together real quick, which is cool. Now you uh, fluffed it. Um, I did it. fluff, yeah. We pulled the plastic off after it set for about 10 minutes. And you just take a fork and fluff it real gently, and it breaks up real nice and looks delicious and beautiful. It really does. <laughs> We're going to add our zest into there. Now that's the one that I shaved earlier, it right? It is lemon and orange. Um, a little salt and pepper because we didn't season our liquid before. You can season the liquid, but I prefer to season at the end so you know just exactly what you're working with. Um, these are pretty cool now. If you want to grab a handful of them, throw them in there. Put yep. them in there. And you can start stirring that around. I'm going to add a little fresh yeah. spinach. Oh, into the couscous? Yep. Mm -hmm. Now, this will go on the side of your salmon dish, right? Correct. This will be kind of like the, the building blocks of the dish, if you oh, will. Oh, it smells so good. The, the citrus really adds something to it. Yes, you've got quite a bit going on there. Now, talk about what's going on at Mallard's. This is a recipe that you'll be making? It is. It is. Our, it's not on our menu right now, but it's a special that we run kind of uh, with the New Year thing. We're working on healthy and heart healthy and all that good stuff so i love it yeah we're going to do that and this will be running special through the week so if you're over to the eastern shore come check us out and you can have a delicious meal like this as well as our crab cakes and all the other great stuff we have yeah With, uh, really good yeah well plating this is super simple you just basically take a nice spoon and you put, once again, portion control. We don't right. want to have 45 pounds of couscous <laughs> for lunch or dinner. Even though it looks good, you don't want to eat the whole thing. Exactly. Just okay. say about maybe four ounces of that. We'll put it in there. Is this done, you think? Our salmon's good to go. So wow. we'll kill the heat on that. And once again, our salmon, uh, our asparagus are already blanched. Okay. So we're basically just heating them up a little bit. We'll throw a couple of asparagus across the middle there. Pop the salmon right on top. And then we'll just drizzle that broth right across. It's got the orange and the saffron. It's Delicious. a beautiful color. You see how that uh, yeah. saffron really makes it pop. That's great, Johnny Mo. We can't so wait to much. try that. Yeah, a little clean up around the edges there, and voila. Light and simple and super terrific. We'll taste test it later. All and right. again, this is a healthy alternative 
yes, rather than the cream and the butter. Butter and cream and all that good stuff. Yeah. Red meat, it's light, good omega-3 fatty acids, all that good stuff. Johnny Mo, thank you very much. Carrie, of course.